Hey guys, it's Natty B after cancer. I wanted to just come and talk to you guys today about my implants from reconstruction and why I chose to switch them out. But before we go any further, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also make sure you hit that notification bell so that you know when my videos pop up. I upload videos every Wednesday, typically morning, but I'm gonna start uploading or I started uploading Wednesday afternoon. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell. So after I was diagnosed, before I actually started chemotherapy, I went and had a bilateral mastectomy, which is where they remove both of your breasts and they replace them with expanders, which I had in my chest for about a year. After my expanders, I then had reconstruction to implants. I was not able, I was not, uh, I didn't meet criteria to have fat removed from, like cut and removed from another part of my body. I apparently didn't have enough, even though I believe that I did. And so I, the only option that I had was to either take from my back, which I didn't want to do, or to do implants. So I decided to go with implants. And my initial choice for implants were actually the gummy bear, did I say that right? Yeah, gummy bear, gummy bear teardrop shaped implants. The reason I chose the gummy bear teardrop shaped implants is because I wanted to look as natural as possible. I was trying to avoid it being obvious that I had, you know, implants in. And, you know, going through cancer is one thing and I just, I don't know, my mindset was I don't need anyone asking me, did you get your boobs done? Because a mastectomy and reconstruction is completely different from a breast augmentation. But anyway, I chose to teardrop for that reason because I wanted to appear as natural as possible. Now, after having my reconstruction, I was not, I was not content with the results. The results were not bad. It's important to keep in mind that after you have a mastectomy, you don't have any breast tissue left. And so there's nothing in your chest that can encapsulate the um, the implants. So you literally just have implants and skin. There's nothing else. So it's not going to sit the same way it would if I had had a breast augmentation. Be even though I knew that and I knew that it was not going to look great, I guess it, I just wasn't prepared for it and I, you know, it wasn't what I expected. And obviously when I, when they were first put in and I was swollen, they looked a little bit different from when they finally settled. And it does take a few weeks. They typically say anywhere from like three to six months, eat for some people closer to a year before you really know how your implants after a mastectomy are going to look. Now, after about seven months, mine were evidently settled, but I just... I don't know, I, I wasn't content with it, so then I went back, my doctor realized that I had a lot of scar tissue that he like popped, and that helped some, but the side that had the cancer, it, things were just, things were just wonky to, keep, to make it short. Thing is, I had no intentions of actually changing the teardrop um, implants, and I forgot to mention that these gummy bear teardrop implants were actually textured I apologize textured gummy bla gummy bear implants I had no intentions even though I was not fully content with the way that they looked I had no intentions of swapping them out or really doing anything different because I recognized that it was probably the best that I was going to get especially with having a great surgeon I would say after about a year I started hearing through um, the grapevine through other survivors through um, I think I had heard it on like a commercial then I started doing my own research that the textured implants can actually lead to another type of cancer another type of lymphoma so gummy bear textured implants can actually lead to BIA ALCL and that stands for breast implant associated anaplastic large cell lymphoma I didn't know what that was didn't want to know what that was I wanted nothing to do with it and even though the number of cases were low I, I want to say it's about 400 and something cases in the United States the risk was still there um, so I you know contacted my surgeon and I was like listen I'm hearing about this I'm reading about this what's up and he was like yes it's true In the back of my mind I'm thinking it would have been nice to get like an email you know from the center like hey for those of you guys who have textured implants 
this is a thing you know you don't have to switch them out but it's important for you to know and if you choose to then yes so when I had explained to him that I wanted to switch them out at that point he had said that it was just a week prior to that that he had made the decision that for all of his breast cancer patients he was no longer using textured implants once they realized that there were actually people who were dying from this other type of cancer last I read 13 15 maybe 18 cases the FDA recalled the textured implants and after having dealt with one bout of cancer, I just wasn't willing to take that risk. So I had him switch it out and I ended up going with the round gummy bear implants. So again, I apologize, I said it wrong the first time. I initially had textured teardrop implants. I'm so sorry guys. I initially had textured teardrop implants and so this time I decided to go with the round gummy bear implants. Here are some pictures of me actually holding round breast implants. What I was avoiding was looking round and having my boobs sit up high all the way here. I'm not a fan of that look, but he explained to me that again, because I don't have any breast tissue, the way things are going to sit are going to be very different from someone who has had a, just a regular breast augmentation. So I went ahead with it and I am so much satisfied. The teardrop implants, I had the issue of the implants flipping. So depending on how I would sleep at night, sometimes randomly in the middle of the day, if I leaned over, depending on the amount of pressure that I was putting, the implants would actually flip. And it would get, it would be so uncomfortable. So with the round ones, because they're completely round, I'm not dealing with that. So that's one pro. The second pro is it looks so much better, at least for me. And then the third pro is I can sleep a lot better. When I had the textured implants, even though I had them for about a year, I had them actually for about 14 months. I, could, I couldn't sleep well. I was still sleeping on my back just like I was from after I had the mastectomy. And honestly, it was, it was frustrating. But within a couple of months, I'd say three, four months of having the round implants, I could sleep on my back, I could sleep on my front, I could sleep on my side with, with, with ease and it just felt so good. Even though my breasts still look wonky, they look so much better and I'm satisfied and for anyone who is considering getting implants, whether it's for reconstruction or breast augmentation, please be mindful that this type of cancer is a risk. It's a very low risk, but it is a risk. So that's all I have for today. Now to be after cancer, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Till next time.